So I'm back out here checking the traps again. Last time I put three new traps out here, so I have eight total to check today. Uh, and one of them is just right up here. And I saw some fresh fresh beaver chewings over there, so it was on top on top of the ice last time, so I'm pretty sure that was fresh from um, the last time I was down here. But it's actually been really warm again uh, since then, so all the ice has melted. That's probably good because my I know my traps aren't going to be frozen in at all, so hopefully something went through them. But yeah, my first trap is right over, there's a dam right here. It's right over that dam, so. So we'll, uh, we'll go see if anything's in that first one. Well, there's my first trap down in there. It's uh, in a spot where I was hoping they'd come sliding right down in through th there. Looks like a pretty good spot to me, but nothing. Nothing, so we'll go see if there's something in that second one. Well, I'm looking down here. This is that spot where I caught the beaver, a beaver two checks ago. That was that smaller, smaller one that I showed you guys. Um, if you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link to it. But, um, but I'm looking down here and I couldn't see any of the sticks where I that I put around the trap to kind of fence it off a bit. Here's the dam, you can see a lot better now that it's, there's no snow. And then there's the little trickle, a little trickle that I put my trap right in front of, like right about there. I'm looking down there and I couldn't see any sign of like where my trap was or anything. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Then I got a little closer and I could see that guy right there. But enough talking to sit down and get a look at him. This one, for sure, has a T-bar stake in it. So he must have pulled that stake right out of the ground. It's a huge beaver. Man, he's heavy. Look at the size of this guy, holy smokes. I'm surprised when they get this big they even think they can fit through the trap. Man, oh man, a big guy. Oh man, he must weigh 50 pounds. Oh, there he is. It's how big he is next to my bag. And they're just all fat too, they're so heavy. They, they're heavier than they look just because they're just a ball of fat. Get this trap reset. Well, I got two beavers from this trap in the same exact spot. I actually caught the, uh, the first beaver through this trap as well, down over there. So this, is caught, this trap has caught every beaver that I've pulled out of here. Must be the lucky one. A little shallower over here, a little shallower over here, and this is the where they want to go. Right down through this deep portion right here.
There we go. Pretty happy with that. Get down in through there. All right, well, moving on to the next trap now. So far we're, so far we are one for two. All right, that next one is right in there. Don't say anything yet. Nothing. See it right in there. All right, we'll move on to the next one, which is just down in here a little ways. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we got another one. Hell yeah, look at that. That's another big one. Holy smokes. Very nice. Went right under that dive stick. This, I put this dive stick out here and on that one we just checked up there. And I think that's really helping out a lot. So I'll get, I'm gonna get him out now. I would say he's a little bit smaller than the last one. It's still a good size. Go. That's perfect. Leave him here while I go check the other traps. I think we've checked four traps today. Yeah, we totally have. So I'm going to check the fifth trap, but so far we're two for four today on beavers, and both of them are real big beavers. Which is awesome and I haven't even made it to that big beaver house yet where I put two more traps so there's 
four traps in total down at that end. So there's a good chance I get at least one more, which would be a really good day. So let's get over there and see what we got. All right, I'm getting close. Should be able to see something here. One of my traps is right there. Nope, nothing under that one. Still looks good. Huh. I like that one a lot. Thought that was gonna be the one. Let's check these guys out over here. Got another one by that stump. Nothing there. And another one over here. Nothing again. Can't believe it, really. Got this crazy house right here. So maybe that means I got one trap left. So hopefully that means that I caught something in that trap and maybe it spooked these guys over here. Oh, is that one? Yep, it is. Oh man, I thought that was a log. Blends right in. Is like I thought it was like moss on the back of him there. I, don't know, I thought it was moss on a stick because his hair is all being pushed the wrong direction. Sweet. So we did get one in here. Did exactly what I was thinking. He so my traps here, and there he is. And this whole area in here is flooded. But a lot of it comes, there's a, there is a channel that goes up through there, but there's a good channel that comes through here. Uh, it was narrower and more channelized. It's deep, a little bit deep, but I put some sticks on there to down in the water to kind of push them down towards the bottom where my trap was. And sure enough, it looks like I got them coming from out in there and going into this big mainstream here. This was one of the ones that I tied down with some wire. Forgot to show it on the last video, but I didn't have wire cutter, so I ended up having to use the whole roll for this trap. The other trap already had wire on it, so I just recycled it. Got some cutters with me today, so take care of that. All right, let's see what we got here. Pretty good one. Smaller than the other two, but not as small as that single that I caught the other day.
Looks good to me. But here they are, all three of them together. So that's the first one I caught, the second one I caught, and the third one. You can see that that first one is just, that might be right up there with the biggest beaver I've ever caught. They're like, these two are like the same length, but this guy is just like fat. And this guy is definitely smaller, but that's still a big beaver. And I'm not experienced enough to know the ages of beavers really but if I had to guess that would be a three-year-old and two four-year-olds or something or maybe a four and a five um, just because I don't see many that big so you can see this guy's tail is a little bit smaller than these two Well, that's going to do it for today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely had more success than the other days. Just had trouble trying to get more than one because, um, like, I should have put dive sticks on some. And another time a beaver got out of the trap. And so uh, I was just kind of struggling to get more than one, even though I knew I should be getting uh, one or two each day. That just wasn't the case, I guess, until today. And... I finally think that I got all my traps set perfectly and made my traps as efficient as possible. Like I could put one trap out in an area that would take the place of two traps so then that would free up another trap that I could put in another spot. Um, and just learning how those the beavers are moving through this, this area helped out. So I put those three new traps in last time and um, I think all of that coming together is why I had uh, such good success today. It's probably going to get quite a bit harder to catch them now because they're going to be pretty smartened up from the whole stretch that I've been trapping. I probably have to put some foothold traps out and try some different kind of traps just to mix it up. But I'll leave these same traps out, these eight traps out again. Uh, I'll see what happens in the next uh, time or two. See if I catch anything and if I still think there's beavers in here then I might try to try to change things up a little bit but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one